Welcome to our review on nuclear power. First thing we need to understand then is how a nuclear power station actually works. So what we actually find then is in our nuclear power station we have this thing called a reactor. Now inside the reactor we've got our fuel which is usually uranium or plutonium and we've got these control rods as well. Then they just control the reaction that occurs in there. So what we're seeing here is we're going to use this nuclear energy. So we're going to use the uranium or the plutonium to generate heat, which is going to change the cold water into the hot water. That will then generate the steam. The steam drives the turbine. The turbine turns the generator. The generator makes the electricity. So the key difference here from our fossil fuel and biomass power stations is just how we make the heat. What we see here is our uranium or plutonium undergo this process called nuclear fission. And as that happens, we release lots of energy. So that's how we get the heat here. Everything else is the same as the other power stations we've looked at. Heat turns water into steam, steam drives the turbines, turbines turn the generator, and that makes our electricity. One thing to bear in mind, though, is that uranium is not renewable. So what we'll find is that it will last for thousands of years, but it's going to eventually run out. However, one of the bonuses here is that as there's no burning involved, we're not making carbon dioxide. The big downside of our nuclear reactors, though, is that they will produce radioactive waste. Now, this comes in two types. We've got the low level waste, which can just go into a landfill site. But the more problematic of these is the high level radioactive waste. Now, in order to actually dispose of this high level waste, we've got to encase it in glass and bury it deep underground away from water sources to avoid contamination. Now, what we find is that the radiation that's emitted will decrease over time, but it's going to stay dangerous for millions of years. So this isn't something that we will have just for a couple of years and then the problem solves itself. This is something that will be left with us for millions of years as a result of being generated in our nuclear power stations. Something else that we can actually do with our radioactive waste then is something called reprocessing. So this is where we're going to be taking any of the unused uranium and then put it back into the reactor. So we're not just disposing of things that we could still get useful life from. But what we find is that one of the waste products from this reprocessing is this thing called plutonium. Now, plutonium is problematic to us because it can be used to make nuclear weapons. And obviously, in any unstable climate around the world, having people that may not necessarily have the clearest of morals, being able to make nuclear weapons is certainly a concern for us. There are some key benefits of nuclear power, though, and this is why we have actually got some nuclear power plants around the UK. First one is that we're going to generate large amounts of electricity for each kilogram of fuel we use. That fuel is readily available and it's not going to run out for thousands of years, unlike our fossil fuels. And also, unlike the fossil fuels, when we actually generate our electricity, we're not generating polluting gases like carbon dioxide. So that means that we're not contributing to global warming or acid rain. There are some disadvantages to nuclear power station as well, which we need to consider. First one is that the cost of building the plant and then at the end of its life decommissioning it can be high. So as a result of those high costs, then the cost of the electricity that we generate can also be high. Before we can actually use any of this uranium in our nuclear reactor, we've actually got to process it. We can't just dig it out of the ground and use it straight away. If we're thinking about the changing demands for electricity that we see in our country, our nuclear reactors have a very slow start-up time. This means it takes a long time to actually change the amount of electricity produced, so we can't get that immediate change in energy production that we can with other forms of power generation. We also have the problem of our radioactive waste and the fact it's expensive to process it, and any that we've got stored, as we've already mentioned, can be a terrorist target. The last problem we've got is the risk of accidents. So you've probably learnt about Chernobyl in your lessons. So what happened with Chernobyl was that there was an actual accident in the nuclear power station there, and as a result, radioactive waste was then released into the environment. And to this day, you can't actually go and live in that same place. So it was a complete ghost town as a result of that nuclear accident.